Spokane Chiefs got a very big win last night, but today they got some bad news when Rocky Dundas was diagnosed with a separated shoulder. A mild injury, but it could keep him out for a couple of games this coming week. Full examination will be conducted tomorrow morning. Looking at the play last night, you can see Dundas pick up a full head of steam, and he never sees the check that hits him. He comes down on, hard on his right shoulder with a new Westminster player on top of him, and that's all she wrote. Well, the Chiefs were on the ice again today, but this time it was for the children at Riverfront Park. The Chiefs were out to give a few pointers to the younger fans and also help them raise some money for a local organization. It's, it's nice to come out and give the kids some time and show them how we do things and hopefully a little bit of rub off, you know. You come out here and you talk to the kids and they're just great. This, this makes their day. It makes my day. You know, a chance to talk to the kids and fool around with them on the ice. I like it. Uh, it's a great, great benefit for our team. And I think it really boosts the city's love with the team, you know. Uh, we've been doing this last year. We did it in Kelowna, and uh, it's really good for the team, and it helps guys out, you know, get to know the people, and that's really good for the morale of the team. Not only did the Chiefs help out the kids on the ice, but they also helped out the kids of St. Anne Infant, Infant Home for disabled and homeless infants. And uh, KXLY Sports will be starting a first of a five-part series coming up on Monday on our 5 o'clock report as we take a look at On the Road with the Spokane Chiefs. Well, while this uh, year's Chiefs were helping out young kids today, Chiefs of the past were helping out kids just a bit older, more specifically hockey players going to college from Spokane. Players who have played for Spokane and the Western International Hockey League hosted Trail to help raise funds for the Spokane Hockey Educational Foundation. And it was a good game in the Coliseum. Spokane led it 3-0 uh, after a period of play. But in the second period, Trail got back on the board. Wayne Falorco puts in a rebound by Bruno Campesi. That made it 3-1. Jeff Fenton got one back for Spokane from Don Burgess off the faceoff. That made the score 4-1 going into the third period of play. Trail got two in the third to cut it to 4-3. But with four and a half minutes left, Gary Harpel put the final nails in the coffin to wrap it up. Spokane wins it, but the big winner, the Spokane Hockey Educational Foundation, who picked up all net proceeds. Well, if, uh, and let's take a look at scores from the National Hockey League. One score, Chicago had six different players score, and Murray Bannerman stopped 35 shots as Chicago beats Calgary, the final there, 6-2. to two. If Mark's forecast is right this week, you'll be able to get out and maybe hit the old golf ball around if you can dodge those rain showers. But I doubt you'll be as hot as Doug Toole was this afternoon. He burned up the course, smoked the field with the final round, of the Los Angeles Open at the Riviera Country Club. The shot of the day, however, Clarence Rose on the par 5 17th. Watch this. Just miss going in. Almost an eagle gets the birdie there, and that helped him to a second place finish. But Doug Toole was red hot. Birdies on 1, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 13, and 18. No bogeys today. He shoots a 63. Absolutely roasted the course today. A great round. 14 under par. He wins it by seven shots. There you see the top five finishers. Clarence Rose with that great shot finishing in second place. Well, the Eastern Washington University baseball team had cabin fever until this afternoon, but I doubt you'll hear any complaints after 250 innings of softball today. That's right, 250 innings in a uh, less than ideal setting out there at Cheney today. The KXOY softball team went out there and tried to do their best, and uh, conditions were not conducive to very good softball. What wasn't frozen was in mud puddles, and <laughs> very slippery and as you can see what I looked like after one play from a good throw from Bud Namick uh, it just wasn't a very good day this is the way things went all day for everybody it was more of a slip and slide affair than it was softball however the KXLY Crunchers went on to a 13 to 5 victory and uh, the situation watch Rick Lukens coming in uh, anything for the camera Rick Wilkins going in for the big splash. So we had a real great time out there this afternoon. Oh, it looks like a lot of great fun. I'm kind of glad I was here, though. And it looks like you kind of got cleaned up since uh, you've been out there. I'd be home and take two showers, not one. <laughs> it was so bad. Was it, did you get cold while you were out there? Hmm? You didn't, didn't realize it until after it was over. And I got one like from, the, really from, our, from our field. Sorry for his department. Uh, Wade Boggs doesn't get the $1.85 million he was asking for from Boston. He has to settle for $1.85 three million dollars over five se or over one season and i'm supposed to cry now season. right that's from our feel sorry for him department <laughs> okay well we can split the profit okay thanks a lot dennis <laughs>